Hello everyone and welcome to the Digimon Vital Bracelet video. This time I'm going to be taking a look at the Angoramon Dim BE memory, which as you can see is in its uh, packaging that is new for the BE memories. And I'm not a big fan of it. I did prefer the Dim card uh, packaging that came with the little plastic holder to hold the Dim cards. I'm not really fond of it just being packaging plus uh, the BE memory itself. Um, and we're also not really sure about how to actually get this out of its uh, uh, plastic tomb, but I'll, I guess I'll work it out. And that is because all my other BE memories that I've had so far have come packaged in with uh, the Vital Bracelet itself. So this one being my first one in packaging and I am apparently struggling at unpacking this toy because the packaging itself is quite nice and I do keep the packaging uh, but I'm not really sure what I'll do with it. As I said, you can't really have the plastic. There we are, I've worked it out finally. You can't really have that uh, plastic dim card holder uh, hanging out in your collection. You just have this loose dim card, which is kind of annoying. You kind of have to put it in one of the uh, dim card holsters, which luckily I have from the, di the uh, dim releases for the original Vital Bracelet. But uh, so far nothing official has been released in terms of storage for these BE memories. So that is a little bit of a shame. I'm not sure if they're expecting us to just keep the entire packaging and have it like that. It's not as nice as the bit of plastic. But uh, in any case, so here is the Angoramon BE memory, which we've of course by now seen in the anime. And we've also seen Angoramon's mega form. So here is my Vital Bracelet BE. And I should have space and storage. Pretty sure I checked before recording this, but we'll soon find out. And we insert the BE memory, and then we go through the waiting process, which it's more or less the same as for the original Vital Bracelet and the Digivice V and the Vital Bracelet characters. You just kind of have to insert it and then wait, and your active Digimon will go to a spare slot in your storage, which of course on the Vital Bracelet BE has, allows you to have four Digimon or up to four Digimon. And uh, I'll say it because people might probably be asking the, uh, in the comments anyway that these BE memories do not work on the original Vital Bracelet. You have to use them on the Vital Bracelet BE release like I have here. And uh, you can use older DIM cards, so like this Gammon Dim here, you can use that on a BE, but you can't use a BE memory on Old Vital Bracelet. And in terms of where I got this BE memory, I got this one, and this video is not sponsored or it's not endorsed by them or anything. I got this one from Hobby Link Japan. I've been using Hobby Link Japan for I think over a decade now. They're probably the first place I really bought from in terms of importing something from overseas. Uh, well, the very first was Play Asia, but Hobby Link Japan was like my beginning into uh, importing. So now we have that BE memory loaded up. We have the background for the Angoramon BE memory, which looks pretty cool. Looks like uh, some mountain area with a nice sky, and it's got like a digital world effect to the sky, which is pretty cool. Now, always my number one favorite mechanic for the BE is the fact that it has the time to evolution and the requirements for the Digimon that you're looking at. Obviously, it's just going baby one to baby two, so there are no requirements, but I do appreciate that it actually says which requirements on the Vital Bracelet itself. I don't have to check on the app, and it also gives you how long to evolve, which again, I don't have to check on the app. Because I don't think the new app actually says how long to evolve. The old app did. New app did not. New app does a lot of stuff that the uh, old app, uh, or doesn't do a lot of stuff that the old app does. In any case, I'm going to hang out with Angoramon now, or at least the baby forms until I get Angoramon. And that means I also have to uh, 
clear the adventure missions, which another one of my favorite mechanics is the fact that I can just go to paladin mode here, for example, and uh, when I go to the adventure missions, there's Angoramon's logo right there. I can actually go through the adventure missions as another Digimon from a BE memory. I can't do dim card adventures. I have to only do that on it on whatever dim cards loaded. But for the other one, the BE memories, any of the active Digimon's adventure missions that I can do. So that is a pretty cool feature as well. Just thought I'd highlight that. Even though I've mentioned before in my other BE related videos, it's just a cool feature. So yeah, pretty excited to run Angoramon. The roster is pretty cool. Lots of spooky looking vampires. I do like Angoramon and I think the roster is pretty neat, but I think the Jellymon one is more exciting. I like how Cathylamon, the newly debuted Digimon, one of 2023's first Digimon, is pretty neat as well. But I do like the Digimon that appear on the Angoramon roster. I like Sanglupmon, Matadormon, Plutomon, one of my favourites, uh, because of Survive, wasn't really a Digimon I cared about prior to Survive, Grand Rakumon, who I'm pretty excited to see. I do like that Digimon. Fairly certain Dracumon's also on this one as well. It would make sense because Fairly certain Dracumon was in the debut of Angoramon episode, I think. But in any case, pretty excited to hang out with this roster. And uh, I don't know, I have, I have a soft spot for Sanglutmon, uh, mainly because one of my first virtual pets that I imported was the XL. And Sanglutmon and Matadormon were on that. Same with Dracumon and Grand Dracumon. And I have such a big soft spot for the XL. And I've done a few videos on that, so check those videos out if you want more information about me ranting about the XL. And again, pretty excited to uh, hang out with Plutomon because of Digimon Survive. But in any case, that's the Angoramon BE memory. Super cool. Still a shame about the lack of plastic holder. I'll just have to keep this in my holster, hanging out there with my other ones. Finished in Pildramon B memory, almost finished the 25th one, Gammon still got a few, and obviously I just started the Angoramon one. So here's hoping we get some official storage for BE memories, not just the ones that we're just reusing from the DIM card. But in any case, that's it for the Angoramon BE memory. Let me know your thoughts about this roster for this BE memory or any upcoming ones. Any thoughts that you have, let me know in the comment section below. Like this video for... I don't know, Sanglutmon being a good dog. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!